Hello and welcome to Molding Your Inglets for sale or giveaway. Okay, we're in the garage today. It's a little chilly because it's raining outside um, to pull out the furnaces. So I'm going to wait for it to warm up. But uh, just going over a few things that we had, borax and stuff for... Uh, the stuff that we use to melt down and uh, as you can see aluminum and some of the molds and stuff today but we're going to work on chest molds so we're going to pull out our cooker but this cooker even though it works good we use it all the time Okay, I'm going Just to use my bigger one here. Today. We're going to put some wax. In our mold. Okay. There we go. Oh, I can feel the heat. Yes, we're going to put this other one on just to warm up and knock off some of the chill in here. Um, if anybody doesn't know, that's the cans we use. We get them from the dollar store. Uh, they work real well. So, let's see that needed to be lit, that'll go away, but you can see that we got a flame, and we're working with these molds today to make a few inglets. See how they work out. Today we're going to take a chunk of wax and uh, this pot and melt this down some wax. So, we're waiting to heat that up and melt that down. We're going to find something for spillage. So, we'll be right back. Okay, we're just about ready here. This looks all melted down. It was a little dirty, but it smells nice. We get the wax from the dollar store too, nothing special. Now this may leak. It's not all the way airtight, but that's why we got the garbage can lid to get a little spillage. And we're gonna try to fill this up as much as possible. And there we go, and it's spilling over. And then we got a full leak. That's all right. So what we do is we just redo it because that one is a major fail. And let's 
put this on something, so... And the garbage can lid leaks. So, so let's go over what went wrong. First of all, this right here, I was supposed to put glue over it. Basically, just take some Elmer's glue and go over it, and that would uh, keep that from leaking. Um, the outside it was a little too hot so I could have poured it a little bit cooler because it takes uh, a little while for wax to actually form up as we can see here it's still forming up and but we have a perfect mold and it didn't damage and uh, it leaked a little bit but still it did quite well so we're gonna see we didn't get it quite full but we'll see how that comes out the bottom of it you can see that we actually glued the sides and uh, they did quite well so if I had did that on the inside um, it would have kept it from leaking but as you see we got most of the wax up off the ground just a little bit left and uh, once it cools down it will scrape right up and uh, be whole again but we try to keep mold out of this form because um, if we cast it when the, the wax melts back out of it it leaves that little particles in there which messes up your carvings and stuff but uh, we're going to just wait for that to cool and we're going to come back and uh, see a solid brick okay we're back and we've the mold has cooled so let's look at this mold here as you see it's still good it's not warped like the last one um, we took it out and uh, out of this mold we had to try to tear it here because it was really stuck in there but uh, let's see if I can get this to focus again Come on, focus. This thing is really bad in focusing. But anyway, here's uh, what we were looking for. This is going to be our brick. As I see about the dirt, you can see it is dirty. I can send some of that off. The edges which we were looking for not exactly good uh, we, we can get some of this off again why are we doing this so we can carve images into it uh, let's see if we can do an example so yeah and we can go as deep as we want to go on oh, no. those let's see okay that's why and I can simply take a pencil and draw my image on the surface so this is not a full brick as you can see this is not a full brick ran out of uh, wax because we had a little spillage but that shows you what you can do and what you can't do um, we let it cool the wax to a certain temperature which we're going to talk about the temperatures and stuff so it doesn't warp the sides of this uh, foam core um, things like this you don't have to worry about that hole because when you put it in your Paris and you put your downspout, that's where that would go. And let's see. 
is slightly warped but that can be sanded smooth so that's pretty good as a mold we want to get things like this out of there that comes with the impurities and uh, it cracked here but that's not a problem either and again uh, once you understand how to make this mold correctly again if I, I glued the inside of it just paint over so we're gonna redo this and um, do it correctly before I print this video so we can see a nice good brick and uh, I don't like my colors too dark and I don't like them too light um, I'll tell you why because when we melt down a white candle you want to put some kind of color into it so your designs come up and so you can see so let's do a little experiment so this is not a total bust um, and carve something is worth carving all right okay we cleaned it up a little bit let's see what we did as you see we got a lot of that dirt off of there there's more imperfections in there um, again I can keep scraping down until I get it all out but um, we the L that I scratch in there we wanted to show you that we can get that out sometimes we can just buff it out that dip here showed up um, was already there but you can start to see the inconsistencies in this that's why we're using this as a test thing so now what we're about to do let's see if we can get back focus again okay again uh, the impurities um, some of the imperfections can be sanded out of here um, the L that we showed you is just about gone. It's just barely seeing them. So if you make mistakes and it went blur again, we can actually get that stuff out. But we're just going to carve something simple into this so you can see it and uh, use this number two pencil to do it. So let's get with it and I'll show you later on the tools that I used okay we carved it all up and as you can see we got our symbols in there a little design on the side here aluminum all done with this little pencil um, that little design is here uh, some stencils and sometimes I just write it in let's see if we can get that to focus I just write it in not too neat um you can add lines and i'll show you how to do the lines but this is just for practice this is just trying to show you what you can actually do when you melt down wax and then the next one is to put it into your paris and let it harden and then we'll melt that out here reuse the wax and um again you'll see that you'll get that exact symbol in your brick already and uh, sometimes we use stamps sometimes we use stencils of all sorts let's move that 
and um, it's not really hard to actually get your designs into that you just have to take your time and uh, carve it out you can also use soap okay so we'll be putting all the different ways that we get our carvings out of it and um, how small you can do how delicate um, or intricate you can put it but uh, like you say you see how the two is smaller here and bigger here that's because I wrote it in but if I put lines in here and um, we'll show you how to take some uh, tracing paper and draw your lines and then draw straight and then you just write it it'll look much neater but again this was just to show you exactly how we do our patterns when we do our melts and uh, we'll melt down some aluminum and put this in here so until then we'll just put this in the refrigerator or the ice box or whatever you got to keep it cold and hard and um, again um, like you see these little bobbles and stuff here I just take them right out and um, try to clean it up as much as possible but uh, we're going to end that here and we're going to go to the next segment Let's see here if we can clean that up. Okay, we try to repair some of the, the damage we did, especially the hole. As you see that we can, we carved that down or sanded it down. Uh, it's a few imperfections according to that corner, which we can shave all the way down. But after we're done with this brick, then we put that into one of our refrigerators and let that sit until we're ready to carve it when we're done carving it then we put it in Paris we're going to do the other the pink one as a test um, we may melt this down and remelt it um, according to how well we make our chest mode but as you can see it is a very good brick we can do it any size and this is what we carve our shapes and stuff in when we want to make perfect bricks for sale so we'll find a picture put it on there trace it uh, 
and then uh, stick it in Paris and then once that hardens up melt this out recollect the wax and then we have a mold in which we can make an exact duplicate of something that is really nice and sellable otherwise if we're just going to use it as scrap we just pour metal in here just like this and leave it as that all right so that's how we make a perfect mold um, I took pictures of how we did a mold so it doesn't damage the outside um, again I'll send pictures of what not to do and what to do okay what do we have here we have one of our molds in a non-stick pan the non-stick pan is called the rock but we want to see how well our mold did and uh, we still got a hole but I told you that's where we're gonna pour but look at that look at that think the mold did good so because I'm dealing with one hand let me get the mold out of here and we're gonna come right back and see how well we did okay I it should be just free enough out of the mold and uh, it needs to be carved down but it looks like it's pretty good so the mold can be reused as you see the bottom here is by itself it locks into the shape it does leak a little bit well that has to be repaired right here see where my finger is yeah that needs to be prepared so we probably have to lay down another piece of aluminum foil that's probably where it leaked at but um, the mold looks intact the tape we throw away aluminum foil we keep and uh, we have a mold we can put back together and that's how the mold goes back together and uh, again it looks fairly good so we'll put that to the side and uh, check our, our mold here which we'll carve up I think we have to sand it a little bit but let's see if I can oh that's really it's really level so I really don't have to do anything to it but shave off um, some of the sides with the razor so I'm gonna come back and show you what we do after that Okay, in part two, we will cover plaster of Paris and how we take these molds or the wax and put it into plaster of Paris to make our mold, to make our coins and ingots that we want to sell. Otherwise, we just don't prepare the inglets in a way that's more money so what we do only if we want to sell or give away these things is we take extra measures which you will see in part two stay tuned